Hey, I was walking around yesterday like, Shane's mom has got it. Going. I don't know why, bro. I just started like, Shane's mom has got it going on. I wish that I had Jason's girl. That's not that's not girl, bro. <laughs> Sorry. What's well, the same song? Just... Some shit's off limits, I wish bro. I had Jason's mom. There you go, bro. <laughs> why God, your mom's not off keep limits? Keeping moms, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I know y'all hate me. Guess what? I'm me. Well, y'all should have been there. Just get your guts, get your Oh, Lord, Jesus. That's what I get the fucking around. FBS Podcast, Hey, J. Sugar Shane. We this motherfucker. Shane. What up? You know what I'm saying? Doing things. We just hit like 1,100 subs or something like that. Yeah. 1,170. Where you going? <laughs> I'm excited 1176 or some shit Shout out y'all And you And everybody You know what I'm saying We are here And I don't got my list out Because my printer didn't work y'all Somebody send me some blue ink Because this is some bullshit I don't have time To be dealing with these problems I'm saying how you do it I'm good I'm What's the dentist today So my mouth hurts That's what you get man Yeah That's, that's what you get We're going we gonna to start it off with As we do usually do With the rabble And the nonsense And the boo boo And the bullshit And I don't think I got A whole lot to talk about I don't have a lot. I got a couple things I had, and I didn't get a chance to like look into a little more, than, like a little more like I wanted to. But you know what it is, what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Wandavision just ended. I have a lot of questions. Does it bother you that it ended on episode nine? Because I hate odd numbers. You know what I'm saying? I have like, a problem with odd numbers. Like I keep, I keep my volume on. Yeah, like, exactly. Numbers. I was gonna say when you turn your volume, you're not gonna yeah. turn it at nine or twenty nine. But or... <laughs> it makes me so angry. And we ain't gonna break all the way just down. Just give me one more. But I don't, I don't know, bro. Like I just. I ain't had a chance to think about that because I'm very confused and everything can happen. But we'll get into it. I was thinking, I was like, that's not an even number. That's yeah. how I was thinking in my head. You, you gotta know, do bro, one more. I yeah. never thought about it, bro. I, <laughs> literally, I'm gonna have to watch. I might, I might watch the whole season over. Yeah, I mean, you might as well. Like, just the like 25 minutes each. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Like it'll take time, but yeah. I might have to because I'm really, or maybe I just missed something in the, in the episode, of episode eight. But I'm just super confused, or maybe I just don't know my Marvel universe like I like I'm supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know everything about every character and like the Ralph dude when Quicksilver was Ralph, whoever. Who the fuck is that? Uh, he was just a, he was just a guy in a, in the neighborhood. She just stole and then made him believe that he was who he was. Why do people care about that? I don't know. I got better news than that. We'll get to that shit later. Okay? Yeah. Did you hear? I think I have it this morning. This morning is Tuesday, y'all. Um. The Justice Zack Snyder cut of Justice League leaked. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I saw. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, like a, like a little cut of it. Shit. Yeah, and then um, and then I saw a spoiler, and I didn't want to watch it. I chose not to watch it. Yeah, but oh. I showed someone walking up to a window, and I was like, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, fucking, they said my was going to play Tom and Jerry, and it was Justice League instead. Oh shit! Yeah, that's crazy. On HBO Max, and I think it was today. Damn, that's and I don't know how long it lasted, but I saw. Like a repost of a, a post. I thought that was of, clickbait. Someone because they said like "oops" nah, and all this stuff. I was like, "Get out of here!" And nah, then a couple days later, then I'm seeing like clips, and I was like, "Oh shit!" It really, it really happened. <laughs> That's though. hilarious. But I, I didn't see no clips leak. I don't want to see nothing. I yeah, don't want to see either. shit. But I think that was intentional. Yeah, because they've been dropping little gems. You know what I'm saying? Little little, little clips and trailers here and there. Like, and I've missed them all. I just better see, be confident that your shit's talking. good. Then you know, man. Listen, bro. <laughs> Somebody on friends on Facebook. Was like Zack Snyder's biggest fan is Zack Snyder, and I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> it sounds like, about right. Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder. I don't, I don't really know nothing about him to, to like judge, but that that was funny. That is funny. But like we said last week, man, we broke down the movies that he did that were dope. Yeah, those are good movies. And the movies he did that were like, eh, that he would like produce in, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how much credit to get this man yet. I think that's fire. I think those movies we listed, I, I would give him credit because those are all really good movies. Nothing really negative to say about any of them. Yeah, Watchmen was you know? still Watchmen to me is still his best movie. Yeah, that, Watchmen, I mean three hundred. Like those are some of my favorite movies. You motherfuckers sleep on Watchmen. I'm talking to y'all, whoever listening, because that shit's fire. If and you don't like Watchmen, you just don't like violent movies. Honestly, the movies are like amazing. Oh like, yeah, it's, action, it's, it's real thing. too. Bro. Yeah, like shit go yeah. down. But the boys reminds me of that too. Yeah, the boys reminds me a lot of. It reminds me of Sin City. As well, it's got that vibe. You too. know, they all kind of got that same yeah. like undertone, bro. Yeah, that's fire. What you got, Shane? It'll BS. It's gonna be BSing and BSing and BSing. Um, so if all right, today's Tuesday, so it's not gonna matter to you. But in case you miss it, uh, new South Park episode comes out 
Wednesday at 8 p.m. Oh, it's the yeah, yeah. Uh, vaccination episode. Excited as fuck for that. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Oh, this shit the commercial looks funny. Is it gonna be on HBO Max too? Uh, probably because don't they? It doesn't HBO own South Park. I don't even know. Wow. I know they had that little special. That you probably, have cable though. That could have been a different arrangement. Yeah, but I never use it except for ESPN. Well, you can go to your on demand and just record. Yeah, that's South how. Park. That's how yeah. I watch stuff. Yeah, that's how I do. I'm it. not watching shit with commercials. Yeah, right. You get me fucked up. Unless I ain't got no choice. Hey, but the trailer looks funny. You're like, hey, hey, you're not socially distancing. Yeah. And you see Cartman saying like, so if we get a vaccination, we get two thousand dollars. So I hope I hope they go out. Like I hope they go all out. Um, and we're gonna see. Yeah. Th- it's got to be fire though, right? I just hope it ain't. If it's just more integrity shit, bro. Like, is that where they at now? Is that is that the story they're going with? Are they going just with- for now? So the vaccination. So that the special is a new special weed that he made, but that's just referencing the new episode. So like he had the 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 um the COVID uh what was it the the pandemic special yeah, yeah, that was his I, weed yeah. or the or the Halloween special that, that wasn't that good to me, bro. The pandemic one. I liked it. I like. I mean, um, it was kind of booty, bro. I think they could have went more all out, dude. When it showed, when it stuff said, is getting more and more unimpressive to me, though. Yeah, but if you watched it at the time too, when because it was all fresh, uh, like one part that geeked me out is uh, none of the teachers wanted to go back to work because they were scared, right? And then they're like, yeah, so we got some other employees who are out of work that are going to fill in for them. And it's the entire Colorado Police Department. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. they all got defunded. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I mean, it's hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit geeked me out. I mean, it was okay. Bro. Just shit like that. It just wasn't, like I said, bro, like, it's just like with Eminem, like I told you, I'm just not, not impressed anymore. Like, there's no wow in it. Yeah. But I like shit that could be relevant. They're like, oh, shit. But speaking of Eminem, since, you know, they're trying to cancel him for some petty-ass line, I'm waiting for them to try to cancel South Park, bro, and, cancel, and they're going to be in the same thing. Cancel culture is at an all-time high. And I got some shit I was going to wait. Mr. Potato mm-hmm. Head, Peppy Le Pew, but, hey. Pepe. Guess who else? There's a new one. And I told, and I, and I named this, too. Go ahead, and we're going to discuss Miss Pe- Piggy. Oh my god! When you said the Muppets, I was like, "Is it because of Miss Piggy?" If you remember, I had it's like it's even on the episode and everything. I was like, "Is she?" But maybe not. And they're trying to get rid of her. Already. For what? For what? For what? For what? One for what? probably because it makes fun of fat people. That's gonna be my guess. The fat people are getting their feelings hurt by Miss Piggy. Two, uh, she's the, two. She's rude. Aren't there fat mean. people in the world? Yes. Aren't there rude people? in Don't the world? Don't we have? Aren't we the fattest country? I'm aren't there? Sure. Aren't there rude people in the world? Dude. That is just a disgrace, and I think it's because she's mean and, I don't and, contr- think- and stuff like that too. So it's that she's mean and she's fat, and it look- makes fat people look like they're fat, and mean, and angry at the world. Probably that's, that's my guess. I didn't read that. That is my guess, but that makes sense. So how what's this is what's why. what's going to be Kermit's reason for getting canceled? Are they going to cancel the band for being a bunch of black jazz musicians and shit? Yeah, somehow they'll say Kermit's racist. <laughs> somehow they'll they'll say it's it's bad on Are somebody. They're going to cancel Skeeter because he's a nerd. Are they going to cancel the chef because? He talking Swedish gibberish and ain't really talking Swedish. Yeah, just They're, go ahead, just just fucking go ahead, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean. I can, I can, I can meet y'all here with Dr. Seuss because I don't know that he wasn't being racist. You know what I'm saying? Like, I because I didn't read the books that they canceled. I have no fucking clue with it. I'm is. here with all of it. Like, cancel nothing. Like, I can, I can meet y'all here. Pepe Le Pew. I've always said that nigga was, <laughs> bro. As a kid, I used to be like this nigga's a racist. I know. Yeah. So like, who cares? Get rid of him. That's fine. But Mr. Potato Head. Eminem, especially for that line. Now there are some things you could bring up about M. Well, I'm not even gonna argue with you. Yeah, so many. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, okay, so but, many. Like, plenty. Yeah, a plethora, hundreds of bars. Yeah, but y'all Stupid. wanna go to? Fucking, I can rap them for you, easy. Like, because they're all hilarious. Bed and set this house on fire. Like, is nothing. That was an emotional song, bro. He was just expressing about toxicity in a relationship. Yeah, he was that just, means fuck. That, that's expression of emotion. If you ain't ever been there, then you probably ain't lived life. Like, Hell. I, don't, I don't know. If you've been in a relationship more than one, maybe more like you, you know what that's. Hell, in that same album, that Spacebound that... song, it's like the next song after he says, "I'll snap her neck like a popsicle stick for any possible reason." <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I mean that, and that's like, like again, that's the recovery album. That album doesn't even compare. To the Marshall Mathers LP or the you know Slim the, Shady the, you know, Slim Shady LP no definitely not the Slim the Shady Eminem LP. show Jesus Christ the Eminem show yeah uh, relapse fucking all of all them. of it yeah all basically of all of them basically all of them um yeah it, it it makes no sense like I said I but I it, it, I can see them trying to do South Park next for something I actually did see they wanted to cancel South Bro, Park for they, stereotypes they, they need to let that one go. Which one? South Park one? Just yeah, it's not it, going to happen. They've been doing it for 20 years. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I saw I saw a Facebook post that said, Boondocks will come back, but as soon as, soon as y'all see, ugh, nigga, you gay. Cancel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, like. For real. That's a good point. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, speaking from black culture, bro. Like, I ain't going to speak from black culture, but growing up in the hood, bro, everything was gay. And it never was like a homosexual thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that big gay out in we, South we, Park, too. We called that shit. We called, like, and it, not saying it was right to do, but I'm saying, like, what if it wasn't taking offense to that shit? Bro? Yeah, nobody. Because ever. it wasn't using it in that context. Like, right. I don't, like, Unless you were gay, I guess. Like, you know, even, even like, the gay motherfuckers would say that. Yeah. I mean, it's true. You're like, what right. you listen to? Oh, that's gay. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just an expression, just like a whole bunch of other things come in place and take place of those type of expressions. Yeah. I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get it all. Mr. Potato Head, please stop. Please stop. Uh, and Jemima, y'all tripping because her family was eating off of that. Yeah, and they um, were mad about that too. Uh, they're the cream of wee guy. There, I think they uh, they're about to take him away. Hey, if y'all fuck with Uncle Ben's, I'm, I it's think gonna he be is. A problem. I think he. Is. I think that one was on there with uh, and Jemima and uh, the what was the butter with the Indian on it? Lando Lakes. He's still yeah. on there. I just what type of butter I use. Oh really? Yeah. Um, I heard they were taking that away. Are you That's sure? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Indian still in that butter pack. Huh. I can go check. I heard they were taking it away. <laughs> Maybe check. Kentucky, we're behind. <laughs> I don't know. No, we don't keep the Indian on our butter, goddammit. <laughs> this is the Commonwealth. I can't stand you motherfuckers around here. Well, you know how shout they out, uh, out You know how they, they took uh like that one line from Eminem, you know, the the one the little clip they took that I saw from South Park, and this was like a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, um, is when uh South uh Cartman's trying to make a, a Christian band and he gets Token to come in. And he goes, Token, go grab your bass player uh, and come follow me. He goes, I don't have a bass player. Like, Token, you're black. You have a bass player somewhere in there. And then um, later on, Token shows up with the bass. I, I remember that. Yeah, shit, Token yeah. shows up with the bass, and he was like, turns out I did have a bass player. He's like, see, I told you. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I mean? But they were like, bro, I get it, though. If you want to go to South Park, bro, you can literally, like. There's so many. Bro, they've. they've the Wheel of Fortune episode. No matter who you are, what you did, where you, where you were, like, bro, they fucked you over. Yeah, everybody. So everybody. celebrities It started with just celebrities Yeah like They focused on every celebrity like, Yeah They didn't give a fuck who you Perfectly were. too Motherfuckers kept trying to shut them down Dude like Barbara Walters and all that oh, shit Oh yeah uh, It was like uh, Rosie O'Donnell You that. almost had it Um Barbara said, Streisand Barbara Streisand Yeah they made a whole re- like, She was like one of the first ones Yeah Dude they had Paris Hilton Coughing up cum in her hand like, Bro like <laughs> come on bro She's a stupid whore Half her eyes open She goes I, She's like I need a drink I haven't had one in like 15 minutes <laughs> and, like, and she has a whore off With Mr. Slave Just let, just <laughs> bro, let, you just let it go bro I mean that's crazy like, you, you, got, you gotta just let it go Like this shit Like I said Pepe Le Pew Okay Cause he was rapey. He's like, mm, mm, mm. and the chick was like, man, I don't like any of it. Just take our whole childhood away. Like, okay, our whole okay. childhood was controversial. Bro, though, fuck you it, know, man. Fuck like it. that's insane. Fuck it. But see, there's it's a new age though. I guess there, there is a thing. Like, I do believe to an extent of, cause everybody ain't strong minded, bro. And like, depending on how much you take of something, that can become your behavior. That can happen with, it, that can happen with anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's like. I still put that in the hands of parents, bro, because subliminal messages are coming to all forms. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And at the same time, I do understand that all parents can't just be watching their kid all the time. Some of you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's not realistic either. So if it got to happen, it got to happen. But it's just the fact that I think it's, it gets so, shit gets so publicized. Like, if they just would have not, not did it and left it alone, nobody would have gave a fuck. Yeah. Like, just stop putting paper in the pew and shit. Yeah. And watch nobody not even. Give I don't a even fuck. think these are real watch people saying these things. Watch nobody not even give a fuck, bro. I mean, I, 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 that's what I think too. But I don't even think. It, I think these are like bots. I think bro, it's just shit to make bro, people pissed you, off. I told you, you know? everything just starts in the Twitterverse, bro. But yeah. it, it's real things. Though, but nah, it's a lot of it's a lot of men that's stood up for Pepe. Like LeBron didn't want Pepe Pew there. Yeah. Like it's mostly men. This ain't even like no. You say it's always a white woman. This this a man thing. Like men saying it like so. They brought the situation up. Mm. You know I just man? think it's a fucking cartoon character, and who cares? Yeah, but he is, bro, I've always thought he was rapey, though. That's why I think it's funny. Like, growing up, I was like, this nigga's so yeah. rapey. And I always thought it was funny, like, the chick could be running for her life, and he's just like, what? 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 And he always catch the bitch. Like, <laughs> like that's kind of... And then, like, growing up, like, my mind is, like, a, a movie head mind. Like, I always want to make movies. So, in my head, I can compare that to the stalker dude. It's just like Jason. <sighs> he's like... Mm-hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. You know what I mean? It's like it's the same thing. If you put Paper Le Pew's chase music chasing a chick to a Jason movie, it's gonna work. It's gonna be a little funny, but it's gonna work, <laughs> it bro. Be funny. It's kind of the same thing as like Invincible, but like yeah, it's it's ridiculous. But like I still be like connecting dots. But I always said the nigga was rapey, but nobody gives a fuck, bro. Right. Okay, he's like, but Mr. Potato Head, that's the one I got me, bro. I'm well, guess st- there's another I'm one still coming. stuck on. And I just said this to my lady. Sorry, it's okay. I am still stuck. On the Girl Scouts wanting to be in the Boy Scouts when it's already Girl Scouts. <laughs> yeah. 
I think uh, And I can't remember What the complaint was Another female friend of mine The other day Me, her, and my girl Was talking about it And she said it was because Like the Boy Scouts Got like I don't know what she, I can't even remember So I'm not even gonna say it Cause I ain't gonna get it right mm-hmm. But I, that I'm still not over that there, it's so weird. It reminds me of uh, what Ben Shapiro said, too, where he was like, I just think if you're going to be in the Boy Scouts, you should be a boy. And the girl was like, where is that written? He goes, in the name Boy Scouts. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like it's a Boy Scouts and a yeah. Girl Scout. Yeah. I can see if it was just a Boy Scouts organization. Nothing for the girls. Like, yeah. y'all Why don't you just make a Scouts then? And what? just mix it all up then. And yeah, then there's, yeah. no, there's nothing. Just call it the Scouts. Yeah. Just call it the Scouts. Yeah, boom. And we'll just do that. And then, that. Shame for president. Yeah. Or mayor, maybe. Not president. I don't want, <laughs> want you to be no goddamn president. Fuck <laughs> that. I'll be a great president. Be councilman. Fuck that. You be city council. You get lower taxes. You get lower taxes. <laughs> Think that shit gonna happen if you want to. <laughs> There's another person that's getting canceled though too. Who was that? Oh, not canceling shit either. Um, but um, sorry about that microphone noise, y'all. So the New York Times uh, reporter's name's Charles Blow, because he blows. Um, publicly oh, asked Warner Brothers to remove Speedy Gonzalez. For racist stereotypes against Mexicans, bro. I just saw. It's fucking insane. I'm thinking the same post that I, was, I saw earlier. Somebody commented like, "So when they gonna get Speedy Gonzalez for being a bad Mexican?" Like now, it, and being sarcastic about it. Now, I guess it's just it's just crazy. Hey, me, being man. honest, this shit racist as fuck. But Speedy Gonzalez, man. Okay, but when I watched Speedy Gonzalez, I was never like, oh, Mexicans must be like this. I'm not saying, yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, just, not, I'm looking I'm at not, it as a I'm fucking not, mouse. I'm not saying it in a serious yeah. way. I had the video you, game and everything. You know in the way you know? I'm saying it, bro. Yeah, I like, know. My nigga's like, epa, epa, andre, andre, arriba. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's racist as fuck. But, uh, it's just, it's y'all, it's y'all too sensitive, bro. Yeah. Can we confirm who plays Speedy Gonzalez? You know, you know what? Before I even <laughs> say that, I'm going to holler some of my Latino homies when I get over here and ask them what they think about Speedy, Speedy Gonzalez. Okay. Mexican friends in particular, Alex and all them. You know okay. what I mean, I still got all the contact information. Yeah, I'm gonna ask them, and we're gonna see, and we're gonna come back to it. Okay, because I'm curious. I want to see if one of these these demographics of people actually play this. Like you said, it's all bots, and like we were talking about the Mr. Potato Head thing. It's like I can't recall one of these things being taken away and it being said by the person that was supposed to offend. Yeah. Yeah, except for this person. This dude's just from the New York Times or whatever. Did no black person say, hey, Angel Mama Syrup is racist? I have no idea. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like, just delicious. Yeah. That's why I would love to know who starts it. I love that black lady on my syrup bottle. I never the thought, like, y'all man, this is racist as fuck. With you her, know what with I mean? Her yellow never cap that. on her apron and shit. And like I said, her family was making money off that shit for generations. Y'all yeah. crazy. I mean, for real, do you see, um, man, I, it's going to happen. Some um some white person is gonna complain about Cracker Jacks all of a sudden, and if it but I I, I just feel like I maybe not because that's dumb like I don't know like you know what I'm saying like uh, but I, I mean don't know. That, someone did say I something know, like take away Cracker Barrel and I'm like why though like that's dumb like but it was nigga, someone trying to make a point and I'm like that's are dumb. a food like don't don't reach too hard <laughs> you fucking crackers <laughs> yeah I said it what how what you gonna do Shane's a cracker too that's the name of the show Shane's a cracker too whatever that's it. You know, the name of this show is Cancel Cancel Me Too. That's it. Cancel us too. Fuck no, because they'll be like, the cancel the Me Too moment, huh? You hate women? Oh, like, I you can't say no, that. No, and I ain't mean it like that. Like, <laughs> cancel me also. Is that better? God damn. But see, like, think about what about next Friday with uh, with the neighbors. They were way over the top Mexicans, you know, with their with the shit in front of their eye. Booker. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they were totally overdoing it. Like, bro, is that racist? God damn it. I keep, and I keep saying this shit, bro. Have you seen Demolition Man? Um, isn't that what uh, not the Sandra, Bullock, Sandra Bullock, uh, Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes? Oh, Sylvester Stallone. Okay, yes, I and have Wesley Snipes. Yes. Was Simon Phoenix. Uh, remember how you couldn't cuss if you cussed anywhere? Like some machine, no matter where you was at, would beep and give you a demerit for cussing. Nah, man, it's been a minute. It I was, was a kid when you I couldn't it. have sex anymore. You had to put on these little headset things. Watch, watch the militia man. Okay. Oh yeah, watch the militia man. We talk about it next week. Okay. Because that's literally where the fuck we're headed, bro. Uh huh. Only thing I want. People to do is all I want in anything is equality, and I want everybody to shut the fuck up, listen to each other's side, so we can just move yeah. on with our lives. I have, that's it. Everybody just sit in a room that's different from different backgrounds. Shut the fuck up, learn each other, shut the fuck up, and we can move on. Yeah, that's have all a, it takes, bro. Like turn your Twitter shit off, stop being fucking yeah. trolls. Have a real dialogue. Down, bro. Have a real dialogue. You know, yeah, and then both of you speak your mind, and maybe you can come to an agreement. If you can't, then you mutually respect each other's you know differences and go about your way. You Nobody know likes anybody, like, and it's just. It's fucking stupid. Let me get this for happy news. Okay? I mean, not saying that was sad or nothing. It's just yeah. less, less. Like, y'all just need to stop canceling shit. What's, what's next? Guess. Can you guess what's next? Let's do a guess what's to get canceled. 
Um, hmm. Ain't no fucking telling. Because I feel like everything I think of is it, a possibility. I mean, they could literally cancel any movie where a man dressed as a woman as a joke or for some reason and say that that's offensive. You can say cancel Big Mama's house. You know what I'm saying? Cancel Shanae, Wanda, two Wong Fu yeah. things for everything. White chicks. All kind of shit. You can cancel a whole lot yeah. of shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm surprised they ain't fucking, I just, whatever, bro. Dude, I, I honestly, like, I never, I don't know. I can't even predict the next thing because I would have never predicted Mr. Potato Head as being offensive because it's genderized as Mr. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, so I'll never be able to predict it because they, they it surprises me every time. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I just I don't know, bro. They bugged out. Yeah, the world is bugged out. And like you said, bro, I don't know if it's like real people doing this. Like, not real people, real like actual people, but real motherfuckers that really feel like this are just like starting fires. Yeah, like like same with the Redskins, dude. A bunch of Native Americans come together and be like, you know what? We don't like this name. For your football team don't We don't know. like the Indians Like you know what I'm saying If there was like If if all the Native Americans Came together And literally had this Protest about it You know I don't, yeah. But I don't remember Seeing anything like that Or anybody expressing That opinion Like I said It I don't just re- happened you know? I don't remember Any of these things Being spoke up about By the people That was supposed to offend Right You know what I'm saying Yeah but no, Don't mean it didn't happen We don't know everything Yeah bro. we don't I'm just you saying, saying? We ain't got people On the ground Like we ain't got like A whole team of researchers And shit You know what I'm saying We just Just speaking bro Y'all need to relax Um we were talking about Space Jam and shit. It was Paper the Pew. Or we were talking about Paper the Pew and it made me think. Don Cheeto, bro, said <clears throat> LeBron James' Space Jam performance was Oscar worthy. Don Cheeto's an idiot. Don't you ever talk about Don Cheeto. <laughs> I love Don Cheeto, too. Don't you fucking call Don you Cheeto. You do not say that this Space Jam movie hey, is anywhere he, near up for an Oscar. Bro, you have no idea what we... Hey, and I will say, I was listening to our other podcast. Fucking LeBron was good in that one movie where he was dude's friend or whatever. When he worked in train office. wreck. That shit was hilarious. He wasn't that good, but it was hilarious. He was funny bro. though. He was hilarious, yeah. bro. Like, so for something, he was only hilarious because he's LeBron. But he might be able to pull it off. No, Oscar. I, I, I don't see Oscar. Oscar worthy. I don't see Oscar worthy. Playing yourself. Don Cheadle might have got paid to say that. Yeah, but I respect Don Cheadle, and I'm interested to see. I mean, whether it's real or not, I just want to see now. Now that I heard that statement, that's exactly what that was for. Then now that you I know, heard that statement, clickbait. yeah, exactly. But now I gotta see. Well, well I was gonna watch it anyway. Gonna be, I, I, I still might not. And as, as, I, as I'm saying this, I'm not gonna rush to watch it. Only reason I will is because my kids. Okay, so when you when we watch that and we find out that his performance is not Oscar worthy, we cannot take Don Cheadle's words for granted ever. Like you know, I'm what still I mean? fuck with Don Cheadle. That's my dog. <laughs> I still like Don Cheadle, but mistake. I'm not gonna respect he just, your he opinion. He just made a mistake. Yeah, I'm. Not <laughs> he, he never made a mistake before. He never made a mistake. But he is a great actor. He did Hotel Rwanda. Dude, that movie. You give him his goddamn respect. He should have got if if he didn't imagine. He probably got Oscar. Can you imagine the PTSD just from doing that movie? Not to have to live in that time in history for however many months and just keep your keep your spirit in that mode. Yeah, I couldn't. Fuck. You ever seen Rain Over Me with him and Adam Sandler? Mm, I don't think so. Adam Sandler's family dies in nine eleven, like they were on the plane. That's that's terrible. And uh, he was a dentist, and he like you know obviously went depressed. And Don Cheadle was his friend. They went to school together. Blah blah. blah. Don Cheadle sees Adam Sandler all in his fucked up state. I don't think I did see that. And he tried. They tried. He tries to you know help him. Like Don Cheadle tries to help Adam Sandler. It's good. I think that's Adam Sandler's best performance. Like I like that um, Uncut Gems movie better because it's exciting. It's a thriller, you know. Yeah. But performance wise, like Adam Sandler losing a family, like. Man, it's insane. Hmm. Yeah, bro, I feel like I haven't seen that, and that sounds like something amazing. Yeah, because I fuck with Adam Sandler and Don. Cheadle. It really is. Like when you watch that movie, it's not Adam Sandler. How the you fuck know what I'm saying? Let me take this muppet off. Shout out Miss Piggy, y'all tripping. Oh shit, we forgot about Lola Bunny. Oh yeah, they didn't sexualize her. They said she was too sexy. <laughs> I mean, that's that was the point, right? We always thought that she wasn't no Jessica Rabbit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that'll get canceled. Yeah, y'all bugged out, man. They'll just, say we should make Jessica Rabbit trans. That's what they'll do. Y'all y'all bugged out. Shane, this is a low this is some local news. I got some local news too. All right. Maybe well, the same one. No, nah, go ahead. What you got? No, you do it first. No. Nah. Uh Trader Joe's is coming to NKY. <laughs> <laughs> is it the same one? <laughs> it's not, but that is hilarious. <laughs> Trader Joe's is coming to NKY. <laughs> my, my friend's white, guys. You see him? He's white. Never been to a Trader Joe's. I saw that on there. I was like, I'll put that in there. Maybe he'll like that. That is excited <laughs> about that Trader Joe's. That's hilarious. Is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that just a convenience store, or do you actually like trade shit in? I think it's just a big-ass 
<laughs> I'm not sure, bro. <laughs> I think it was the big ass flea market thing where just everything for sale everywhere. Oh. Oh, that okay. I think you're right. Well, that like might a be, flea market. That might be Trader's World. No, I think you're right. That sounds that sounds like something that would be. I have no fucking clue. No, what I was gonna say is that the 17 year cicadas is coming back, nigga. Yeah, I saw a shell on, on the ground the other day. Just oh, one. Fuck, they yeah. already here. There's just one shell. I mean, I'm, I don't mind cicadas, but I'm, I don't, I'm not in the mood. Yeah, I'm really. They're not. annoying though. Yeah, they are that's what I'm saying. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm not in the mood. Yeah, I'm not like moving them sticking to me and shit. Yeah. I'm not in the move. What was it, 17 bro. years ago or whatever? Is that yeah. right? Every 17. I remember you couldn't walk on the sidewalk without stepping in those motherfuckers. Yeah, bro. I'm not in the move. I used to love them as a kid. I feel like the older I, I get. I just thought they were cool, yeah. The more I don't want to be around shit like that. Like, don't me. No. Hey. Yeah. <gasps> I'm standing out. Well, I used to scare. <laughs> I would scare my cousins with it because they're all my cousins were girls, too. Yeah. Um, bro, dude, we, we, that's always funny. We used to put them together. Yeah. And they were like thick <laughs> and shit. You got to pull them bitches apart. Like get off me! Get out! You get off me! <laughs> like, yeah. I uh, I tried to f- I fed one to a uh, prey mantis that was pretty dope. He like oh. grabbed it with his arm. I don't really go fishing, bro. We might need to go fishing. Oh, that'd be fun. Take some skaters, catch some yeah. fish. You know That's a good saying? idea. Yeah. Unlimited free bait. Hell yeah, it's a good idea. Get your ass over here. Got it, bitch. Yeah, and they're pretty big too. You know, I've never fished with a cicada, obviously, because it was like 17 Yeah, we have to go for some bigger fish, though. Yeah. Not big, big fish, of course. I don't know shit about fishing. What the fuck am I talking about? I heard if you use white bread, that's one of the best things to do is use white bread. <laughs> that's what I heard. Yeah, or worms. <laughs> Nobody use worms. That's movie stuff. You fucking, fucking Huck Finn. Bro, I heard something about Mark Twain getting canceled, too. Did you tell me about that? No. God damn, bro. This cancel culture. Is Mark Twain. Uh, Mark Twain was racist, though, for sure. No, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, um, give a damn about Mark Twain. That was uh, I mean, but that was his era, though. I think everybody was racist in that era. They don't give him. They don't that out there. They don't give him a pass. Fuck. Yeah. Him. Well, I mean, like everybody was racist back then. Like everybody. It was a whole bunch of racist. So you just took you till twenty twenty one to cancel Mark Twain. It's pretty funny. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Motherfuckers, like, hey, let's just. Let's just get rid of him. Hey, somebody look back 45, 50, 60, 70 yeah. years and see who we can cancel. What the fuck? Dude, they have a whole award set called the Mark Twain Award that Dave, uh, Dave Chappelle just got. That's a whole thing. It's yeah. and it's because Mark Twain was a brilliant writer, regardless yeah. of his, like, whatever, like, his, his fucking ignorance. You know what I mean? Bro, I forgot to so, fucking watch that fucking Mark Twain shit with Yeah, Dave man. You I need got to go to. back and watch that. You definitely have to. It's I like a little stand-up, to too, with the people that come up and everything. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then he always, he always going to. Yeah, and his, obviously, too. He always going to hit a point when, it, when it's time, bro. Yeah. Um, what else did I have? I had something else I wanted to get to, bro. Oh, did you hear about, and I, this is one thing I forgot to look into, and, but it's just interesting, because, like, you know, I like imagination and shit, but mm-hmm. they said they found the structure in the middle of the earth. Did you hear about that shit? Mm-mm. It's been some weird shit. Did you hear about the hovering boat? It was a boat hovering over the water. Mm-mm. It wasn't on the water. It was ho- hovering over the water. Not really. That's wild. Dog. I saw a crazy shooting star last night. At least I think it was a shooting did star. Did you make a wish, nigga? I did. Did you, did you wish? Did you wish for me to get a million dollars? I did. Man, fuck wishing for yourself. <laughs> it wish, was like a wish for me. Nigga. It was a little nerve wracking. It was like a yellow light went, hey. and I and I literally was like this because it like, was like I wish for cupcakes. God damn it! I wish. No, nah, because it was like. What? Yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your ass wish for like new socks or some shit. Just, Shh. just freaked out and wish for new socks. Like, oh, I wish for new socks. Help me, I'm poor. Fuck, I wasted it. God damn it. I wish for oatmeal. Stop yeah. wishing for. It was bullshit. a sel- it was a selfless wish. Hey, bro, stop I'm wishing. Not selfish. Stop wishing for bullshit, bro. It wasn't. No, I'm saying you just. You but pa- I can't tell you what it is, right? You panic, bro. You panic to wish for like fresh bread or some shit. Why you? What? You gotta get your mind bread. together, bro. Yeah. I don't even eat bread. You all nigga really. to wish for cheese sandwiches. This nigga wish for a chicken ring sandwich and a large Coke. I can't stand your stupid ass. I wish you'd shut up. But nah, bro. I was thinking about that whole, like, structure inside the earth, right? What if that was real, bro? That would change. That's changing the whole aspect of living right there, bro. Huh. I mean, it's it's pretty weird. That would be dope. I want something like this to happen, bro. All this shit happening is boring. All this canceling shit, all these remakes. Oh, I got another fucking thing that they bringing back. I don't even like it. But all this boring ass regular human people shit. Yeah, I agree. I need some science, some, some naturey, some phenomenon. I want some aliens to come like, in. Man, I want to talk to one. See, the more have I think, a conversation. The more, the more <laughs> I think about that, the more I get a little worried. Cause bro, they there's no way they gonna fuck with us. Yeah, they're gonna be like you're. The more annoying. I see shit, bro, there's no way they fuck with us, bro. Like we're probably like insects to them anyway, is what I bet, or animals or something. You know. I feel like if they come, it's it's the reckoning, bro. If they come, would you fuck a Martian? You're like, there he goes. I'm in a relationship. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a relationship. Okay? Well, it's not a person. <laughs> no, you agree bro, not I'm, to cheat on I'm her not, with another human I'm being. I'm not hitting no alien pussy, bro. 
But then you'd be known for that. You're like, I don't want to be known for music reactions. What you'd be known as the guy who fucked the Martians. <laughs> Ew, bro. <laughs> Any reaction music. It all depends. Has like, if it's the Martians that fucking Captain Picard had. What if they had three titties? He was, hey, William Shatner <laughs> and that nigga uh, that played Captain Picard, fucking Professor X, they was in some bad aliens. Now, if I get that kind of selection, you know, maybe. Yeah, what about um, uh, Galaxy Quest with uh, Tim Allen and fucking oh, Alec Rickman? God, and bro. Remember yeah. that? That one guy fucked one of the aliens. That it was so, movie, so bro. fucking trippy. That movie's lit. They're remaking that, which is a, a shame because Alec Rickman ain't in it. Why are they remaking that? I don't know. Why are they remaking that? I don't know. Yeah, and you don't even have Alan Rickman in it. You're going to have someone else play his character? You That's annoying. Have, you don't even have Alan Rickman in it. R.I.P. What else you got, bro? Um, R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm super passionate about that R.I.P. boy. Alec Rimmer is a G. Um, I hate you, though. Luke Skywalker TV show is being planned for Disney Plus, so that's cool. At least I hope it is. We don't have to talk about that, but just a little quick one. I'm just like, okay, that that sounds dope, but bro, what? Why is there, why ain't nothing new? I know. Why is there nothing new? I know. Do Ashkatana shit. You know, well, I think they are actually. I think they're definitely doing that. I'm just saying, but it's still Star Wars. It's like, all right, we did Star Wars. Let's keep doing Star Wars shit. Well, we're yeah. gonna do eleven it's Star Disney Wars. For you. We got this Marvel shit. We are gonna do thirteen more Marvel shit. I think that's kind of brilliant though, because Star Wars, you could you could make so many spans. Star, Star Wars do make more you know? sense because there's yeah. so much we don't and know. There's so many galaxies and all. Yeah, this and it's shit, kind you know? of a doper universe. But yeah. Like, Everything is doing that though. Yeah, like everything, like Walking Dead, seventeen spinoffs and shit. Like Game of Thrones got spinoffs coming. Like Resident Evil's being turned to a show. Nigga, they bring him back, and I was on what say this? They bring him back, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. No way. I wonder how my mom feels like that. My mom was like the number one fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and oh. Angel. My oh, mom was loving. My mom loved fucking Buffy and Angel too. No way. That Dude, was that was, that was my mom. We had some. Shit. We had select white shows that we watched. Yeah, Xena and Hercules. Oh, I love those two. <laughs> Buffy and Angel. I didn't watch Buffy as much, and my mama really liked Charm. I didn't really watch Angel. I watched Buffy because my mom liked it, but well, I didn't watch as much as her. But when you got regular TV, you got to watch those things. Mm-hmm. My watch was listening. Bitch. <laughs> Shut don't the fuck up. Us. Hey, man. God damn it. Hey, you turn Siri off when you're around me, hey, motherfucker. You heard me have you ta- ever... You heard me tapping in and listening to people fucking... I don't know off my watch. Did you ever see the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie before the show came out? And it's got dude, uh, man. I don't think I ever did. It's like a uh, you should you should watch. It's like a parody. It's pretty goddamn funny. It even has fucking Pee Wee Herman in it. And he's a vampire. And he he's like kill him a lot. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman as a vampire. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know it was Pee Wee Herman. Like uh, because he's dressed like a vampire. Did they cancel Pee Wee Herman already? <laughs> Probably. Ah! <laughs> I ain't seen a Pee Wee Herman nothing on nothing in a while. You know what shocked me? Like I, you know, I never realized P, uh, Tim That's Burton directed weird, Pee Wee Herman's Excellent Adventure. Did you realize that? No. Yeah, it he, makes he, sense now. Yeah, and then yeah. after that was the nightmare on uh, nightmare before Christmas. Had it, no idea. It makes sense though. It does because there is that but part like, of the truck driver. And all see, without cancel stuff, like it is a certain thing I think about. Like, Pee Herman was a goddamn perv, bro. And he I was canceled to, anyway. He got canceled to, for doing yeah, that. Yeah, but I used to fuck with Pee Herman. It's like how many other motherfuckers was pervy though? That's what I still be thinking all of them. about. Like all of them motherfuckers. Fucking pervy. all of them. That's why I just. I don't know, man. I don't know what we're going to do in a few years when we find out everybody's the devil. <laughs> Everybody in Hollywood. Like, all these motherfuckers are the devil. Y'all have been tricked. Yeah. You've been fooled and bamboozled, but it's, it wouldn't be a surprise to me. Like, I'm not not saying I'd be shocked at all because I kind of was already on that wave. A bat just flew by the door. Uh, uh, kind of was already on that wave. Gross. But uh, it's just, go ahead. Everybody just expose themselves, man. Like, everything's, like I said, we got to watch, you got to watch Demolition Man. I watched it again just because me and my grandma used to watch it. And being back, great memories. I love that movie. And we going you gonna see, bro, that we are going to that sensitive ass direction, bro. The police didn't even know how to fight. <laughs> Not even damn that. That's crazy. Like you couldn't cuss. So like, it's like, way bro, when I say you, when I say you couldn't cuss nowhere, you could be outside and you say fuck. A, pa- a piece of paper will print up and an alarm will go off, and you gotta take that shit. Damn. It was so much other shit. That's crazy. It was so much other shit. The only restaurant was Taco Bell. That's Shit's crazy. Wow, they wiped the ass with seashells. You'll watch it. You'll watch it. I just told you like an eighth of the movie. But watch that. That shit. cops not know how to fight. That's pretty nuts. Sounds like uh, kind of like the idiocracy. That'll, shit. that'll never happen, bro. Well, no, I'm saying like, cause like, yeah. The way I was looking at it is like, I don't know what to do because I don't want. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's how I was looking at it. Like the idiocracy movie is pretty smart. It was like a, a head of its time too. Just like a, like you know humans getting dumber or whatever. But that that reminded me too. I bring back South Park again. You know, when uh, they were getting so pissed about Kaepernick kneeling. Yeah. So, like, uh, and they were trying to figure out a way how to fix this issue. 
So uh, they decided to like. So the guy goes, "All right, the, now everyone rise, or kneel, yeah. or sit, or lay down, I've or seen, whatever I've you want to do I've seen that one, for yeah. the national anthem." And I've then Ka- Kaepernick's like, "Oh, I don't know what to do." I've <laughs> yeah, seen you know it. Yeah, I've seen it. That was so funny. And then everybody was like trying to figure out what they were supposed to do too. Like they didn't know. Bro, this, that's hey, hilarious. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> they they fucked Kaepernick over, bro. That, that's one that made me mad, bro. They fucked him over. Didn't he get like a huge check, million dollar check through mm-hmm. Nike and Disney and no, all? I'm, sh- I'm talking about just the NFL period. Fuck, no, fuck oh, that. I ain't talking oh. about his money. That nigga wanted oh. to be a football player. Oh yeah, that's his dream. And I hear fuck you. some money, like you. You know what I mean? You can't get that back. And it's just it's shitty because why did he? Didn't he I don't start understand. and then not start anymore? Didn't he start and then not start, or did he ever start? I don't know, or? bro. I'm just saying. I don't know about that. But I, I, know I just either. know the whole kneeling thing. How how he took the biggest L for it. And it was so many other motherfuckers that was doing this shit too. Right. But they literally singled him out, bro. Like, it was so many other, like, other sports. So he wasn't the first one to do it? I, mean, I don't know if he was the first, but he wasn't the only motherfucker no, doing he, it. No, you're right. He wasn't the only one. It was one. baseball players doing it. That one soccer chick with the blonde hair, she was fucking doing it. it was Did other, he it say, was other, I'm not going to play until it was this? other football players doing it or some shit? Like, but I'm pretty sure he said, I'm not going to play until this, 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 and that. Like, he said, I'm not going to play. Bro, that was after all that. Oh. Because they kind of tried to, like, you know what I'm saying? But then they set up a um they set up a little thing for him, like trout, and then that went to shit. Uh-huh. Like they didn't put shit into it. Yeah. No, no, that no, I think that was on him. He took his shit out of the, he took his shit somewhere else. But yeah, after after he got fucking whatever, he went through all that shit, and then they were giving him another chance and he walked away. No, oh, okay. He, but he he didn't want to do the trial at a certain place and he picked his own place. That's his own shit. Okay. You know what I mean? But just the fact that he got singled out for that, like the single out part, I agree with you. When he when it was so many people doing it, because like as it was happening, I'm like, this motherfucker's right next to him doing this shit too. Like, yeah, yeah. In the pictures you see now, it's like other people doing it. Yeah. And then they'll show motherfuckers in the MLB, not just yeah. black people. You know what I mean? Not, not just like white. he forced them to do it. You, they're all grown men. They all choose to do like, it. I get what you're saying. You gonna get mad at everybody or just leave it alone? Yeah. Like I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Yeah. I didn't like that at all. But you know, it is what it is. The Afro man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to be fair, he wanted that spotlight, and he said he was using his platform, so then he could talk about it. So maybe they were singling him out, and it was it was going. It looked like it was going to a positive way, but and then at the at the same sense, he now got, you can correct he, me if he, I was he wrong. He kind of wanted to be that martyr. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, but he was already not playing, so it's not like he did it, and then they were like, "All right, you're not allowed to play anymore." He was already on the bench. Yeah, right. Like so. I don't know, like, and then you got a big deal out of it. So I, I kind of don't feel bad for him. He's a fucking millionaire now. He doesn't have to play. No, I ain't anymore, saying I, ain't feel, I ain't saying I really feel bad for him. I just don't like how the he, single out part. He was yeah, the one that sure. got. I just don't understand why he was the yeah. one that got. He got out. all the backlash for no reason. Yeah. like when everybody like, else. That's what I'm saying. It. Like saying. it was all about him doing it when like clearly, like you could look yeah. around and like when they kneeling over there, <laughs> like <laughs> the you know, other team is too. Like, <laughs> all right, that's funny. Because I'm, I'm light skinned. Oh. Uh, I'm always talking shit about light skin. You people. are. I was about to say. Listen, you I got said that, I got light skin cousins, bro. Talk shit about them too. Y'all don't tell me what to do because I don't give a damn. I love everybody. My y'all, brother's boyfriend. Y'all, light-skinned. y'all the ones that be hating, not me. Jeez. Shit. I already talked about Buffy coming back. That's the worst. Goddamn. Are I they just, having Sarah Michelle Gellar play Buffy again? I'm pretty sure, bro. No way. <laughs> My mom will be happy then. I saw a stupid ass article. Like, at least they're not rebooting it. The, I guess the reason why Buffy should be a revival and not a reboot. I'm like, bro, just it shouldn't be neither. Just yeah, it shouldn't sh- be either. Just stop. I prefer. I mean, I'm not gonna watch it, but I think the revival oh, no, actually, is actually cooler. Actually, I think it might be a reboot. Oh, if it's a reboot, that's lame because everybody's already seen that shit. A revival's kind of cool because that brings the fans back. Now in, I'm seeing you know? an article in my head. I read a lot of shit today. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I think it did because he had an article that said why it should be a revival, and not a reboot. But I could have read that mm. wrong. My mom, I would ask my mom. Maybe Either she. Way, I don't want to maybe see. Buffy dies the last episode or something. I'll ask her. I don't know. I don't know if she does. Maybe they can't do a revival because she died. But you could say well, we brought her back to life because all this magic shit happens in that show anyway. She got the vampire booty juice in her butt, but yeah, it saved her. <laughs> <laughs> Buffy the Vampire and Slayer. I already talked about Don Cheeto. What else you got, though? I got a few more things. Um, I got a few more things. Oh, uh, um, couple tra- coming, couple tragedies. Coming to America three is already being planned by Eddie Murphy. Already, apparently. Well, he better make it good. And rated R. <laughs> I only better listen. Fuck you. <laughs> you watch, you watch this movie, and like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's not, it wasn't terrible, bro, but almost. Was. I should watch that. Should I watch that tonight? My little, bro, my little brother said it was trash out of ten. Trash I, out of ten. I gave it three. Got the shit I, I gave it three puffs because mm-hmm. I just really like seeing everybody from the first movie. I three lo- out of five, I love, right? I love seeing, yeah. Okay. I love seeing all, all those people back, bro. That was, that was probably the dopest thing. Yeah. Look, the story was ass. It was rushed. Like, I ain't going to get into it. You got to watch my review. Then you got to watch it. Then we're going to talk about it together. Because I don't want to. 
taint your thought. Yeah. I want you to have a clear slate on what you think. All even right. though I pretty much said enough. Yeah. Like, probably already said too much. Well, I was going to watch it anyway. Coming to America 3, I'm not going to be excited for it till I see it. But, I like, thinking of it off rip, as you say it right now, quick thought, it's got to be better than 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, if you already making a three, then you know two wasn't that good. Well, he's planning it, so he hasn't started making it yet. He's just already planning for it. Maybe maybe he got, like, a that's, lot of good that, fan base. That's damn near the same thing. Yeah, true. That's damn near the same thing. But I don't know, bro. A lot of people said it was okay. And I will say it's okay. All right. It's okay, but man, 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 it was... That shit was flat. Move on, bro. Move on, because I don't want to give you nothing. What okay. else you got? you got? What else you got? Nothing. Your UFC fight, bro. What happened, man? What happened? All right. Yeah. What happened, bro? I need updates. Yeah. So I mean, it was a it was a wild it was a wild one for real. It was a wild one. Bro. It was. It was. Uh, uh, you didn't see anything about the fights yet at nah, all. Nah, bro. I don't know. Um, I don't know how either, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go by this guy's last name because I can't pronounce. It. It's Ad 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 So his name's Sterling. Okay, so mm-hmm. Sterling versus uh, Jan. His name's like Pierre Jan or something. Yeah. So this was like the um, bantermate fight. Like, it's like lightweight. Yeah, yeah. So they're little. Um, and the fight was favoring in Jan, in my opinion, majority of the time. The scorecard, when they said at the end, it was like way closer, and I just, that was stupid. Yeah. Um, and I'll get into that scorecard shit later. But uh, but so Jan was like just dominating him. Like, he, he took him down. He took Sterling down like so many times. He was connecting way more. And then near like the last, like in the fifth round, it was either the like fourth or the fifth round. Uh, Jan hit Sterling with an illegal knee while Sterling was on his knees. Yeah, and uh, hit him with a legal knee to the face. Oh, and Sterling f- fell back. And uh, that's dirty, bro. But a lot of people are saying that he, they think he was faking it. Other UFC fighters were saying he's faking it. Mm. So I don't know for sure, but to me, it looked like he was being pretty dramatic. Not gonna yeah. lie, I know getting knee to the face, like, and I'm about to say, I ain't, you know, I ain't, I ain't never took a knee to the face, so I can't. I'm me either, gonna... but so I bet it hurt, but like I bet that's all it was that it. I this, bet it hurt. What you mean? That's so like, oh, because like it didn't. I don't I think it. Because, because listen, this is why. Wait, so wait, do you realize what you said? I bet it hurt, and then what else did you say? But I bet that's all it was. Like he wasn't injured from it. He didn't get split. You know, he didn't get knocked out. Oh no, it's professional no fighters' con- knees. No concussion. It didn't look like it. Is that what it was? No, I mean like the picture. Like if you look at the when you go on and look, you'll see this picture. It looks like brutal. But when you like watched it, I mean it kind of was crazy because he fell back. Like I bet it hurt, you know. So he fell back. They like they stopped the fight to check him out. He's on the ground, and dude is like, like you know, he's like in, he's like he's like he's like he's in pain and shit. So it, like I said, it probably hurt. And then um, he went to get up, and then he was like, oh, I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy. This is where it started looking dramatic. It is a needed face. I know. Bro. And he was like, but he was like covering. He's like, uh, he was like, how you feel? I feel better now that I'm laying down. And he's like breathing heavily and all that. And then the guy disqualified. And then when they went to go announce the winner, dude was right back up, not dizzy. You know, went and took the belt because <laughs> for the disqualification. To me, it looked like a LeBron flop. Uh. You know what I'm saying? And then he was all upset that he got the belt out of disqualification. He goes, man, like he, when they called his name, he's like, <sighs> like, you know what I mean? Like acting like he didn't know he was going to get the belt. And then, um, so it looked like to me. So anyway, going was with dude, the way, Was dude going to get disqualified anyway just for the knee to face? Yeah, because it's an illegal knee. Because cause dude was Cause down. he was on the ground, yeah. Yeah, his knee was down. And then, well, the ref called him down, right? Yeah. So then you can't do that. But what happened was, and then Abib, he's a Russian fighter. And the guy, Jan, is Russian. So came up and talked to like Joe Rogan, they're the, they're the announcers, and told them that he looked – so Jan looked over to his corner and asked, what do I do? Should I hit him? And his corner told him, yes, kick him, and they said it in Russian. So he was only listening to his corner said yeah. at the same time. So I think it was just miscommunication. But at the same time, though, Jan was fucking sterling up. Like I said, he was knocking him – like, dude, he was – they were going like this, and he would just sweep him. Dude fall flat on his back. Like, you yeah. know, just shit like that, bullying him. And I think Sterling was, was tuckered out and then was like – Oh, I just, I, I just feel better. I think he was just tired, and he decided he like was just gonna <laughs> use it to his advantage. Cause then he went to the doctor. He went to the doctor right after the fight, and uh, Dana White said there was nothing wrong with him. Bro, so they're gonna redo it. I cannot be mad at him. <laughs> I can't either. I can't. I can't be mad at him. I can't either. Bro. But I'm just saying. But he, I'm not going. In that you would have thought this dude had a fucking concussion, though. Ooh, I'm tired. I mean, I mean, it hurts. <laughs> I'm just saying, you would have thought he had a concussion, dog. I'm just uh, telling you, like, by the way he was acting, and he has no concussions. They're gonna rerun the fight real quick, bro, apparently. That is funny as hell. Yeah, bro. it was pretty funny. I'm sitting, uh, man. It was, but I don't know. Like, I, I'm just going off of like, if you watch the whole fight, it kind of looked a little. I don't know. Yeah. 
But again, I've never had a knee to a face by a professional fighter in general, so I don't know. I hate but you, um, bro. all right, second fight was Amanda Nunes versus uh, Megan Anderson. Oh, what happened, man? That what was happened? dope. What happened? She's the greatest fighter of all what time, happened? bro. I don't care, woman, man. That's all I care about. She's right the greatest here. fighter of all time. That's all I bro, care about right here. So this she, man, Amanda Nunes is five eight. It's a one forty five fight. Yeah. Megan Anderson is six foot. Yeah, bro. This girl was huge. Big dude, Amanda Nunez fucking got her in two minutes and thirty and three Let's seconds. Let's go, <laughs> bro. Let's go with a fucking dude. As soon as Amanda Nunez started throwing punches at at uh, Megan, that's exciting. Her eye, Megan's eyes were open, like oh fuck, like she was like scared. Pitbull. And then um, Amanda Nunez took her down, put her in a triangle, so she's choking her out with her fucking calf, and then grabs uh, Megan's arm and puts her also into an arm bar. So she has her in a triangle slash arm bar. So either she was going to choke her out or break her arm. One of the two bitch was not winning. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Tapped out. Like, so she won So she won by that. That's Defend- fire. She's the only, like, only fighter. She still has two belts. She's defending 135 and 145. She's wiped every woman out clean. There's no one to fight her. No one's going to come take her. She, she's beat everybody. That's what they were saying. Like, uh, well, they smart. Not isn't that insane? The, not fight. Well, she's beat everybody. She's she's beat everybody she's in both of those weight classes. She's to fight. Fight, go ahead and beat up Jake Paul now. <laughs> well, um, Joe Rogan's like, I hope there's a girl out there somewhere training their fucking ass off for, th- for this because we don't know who else, like, there's no one else that can fight it you. It gotta be. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it is some bad Someone ass, is out there. Some cold yeah. ass bitch with hands. I mean, that's, Nunes was that's like. ready to let, yeah. let, let herself be known. Yeah. And gonna come rain fire. And I can't wait. Bro, me too. It, bro. Amanda Nunes was like. Where are you? Let's she was go. like, I'm ready for it. She goes, I can't wait for it. He goes, but she's like, I think I'm going to retire a two belt champion and no one's taking shit. <laughs> so she's, something like that. I was like, man, she's a fucking G. God That's damn it. fire, bro. Yeah, she's a beast. And she just had a daughter too or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And she said That's she's more she's dangerous now that she has a daughter. She goes, now, she goes, uh. Now that I have like a kid, I have something to fight for, so I'm even more dangerous now. <laughs> that's that's fire, <laughs> bro. Hey, that's, that's fire. wild. That's yeah, fire. That's wild. She called with it. Yeah, she is, Dude, bro. You got like you should just look up that fight. Like I said, it's two minutes. Nah, just I'm watching checking, her I'm just dominate that I'm girl. Definitely check it out. It's amazing. I'm and that girl was like six inches taller than her. You know, yeah, way I'm bigger. A, I'm gonna definitely check it out. Uh, all right, and the big one it was Israel uh, Adesanya and uh, and Jan Blafowicz. Bro, I watched him. Adesanya on ESPN. This nigga is cocky as oh yeah. Fuck. You're a fighter. You have to be though. Nah, nigga. This yeah, he's is, cocky. This shit was a different level. Like, damn, nigga, I don't, I don't like you, bro. <laughs> I like him. Though. But I'm always, I'm always root for the. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm always root for my brothers. Like, he's a bad motherfucker. I'm always root for my brothers he's, every he time. He says I'm a future legend. But that nigga I believe was cocky him. though. Yeah. But I did like when he was talking about his fighting style. He was like, he was like, people think my fighting style is like uniform, but it's not. The rhythm is off. Like the cadence is off. You can't tell until you start fighting me. I like I don't dislike him like at all, but like some shit was saying like God damn nigga relax. Like I think he definitely looked up at Bruce Lee. Like I don't want to see you get For your sure. ass with one day, bro. I have to remember this interview. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, happened? what happened? What happened? Well, he's all right, well he lost the fight. Mm. So, but mm. uh, but again he took a big chance. He went from one eighty five to two oh five. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and he was just trying to get two belts. And uh, I mean, it was a it was a great fight. I was about uh, to ask, was it? Was it was a fight? great fight. Yeah. Like there was no, um, it was all technical. Like nobody got their ass beat. Neither of them were split for real. Yeah. Um, it was it was really all technical. And the only thing that really got won the the win was uh, he took he took uh, Adesanya down like a few times. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And Adesanya doesn't have really a ground game. So what I think he'll probably go practice his ground his ground game. And come back, but he has to go back to 185 and defend. He has to, you know, defend that title. He just wanted to give it a shot, and he said he'll come back eventually. But, um, but uh, yeah. So after the fight, though, like when they were uh, saying the score. So basically, though, when you're fighting the champion, so uh, so Adesanya is fighting the champion. You have to like, regardless of what you do in the first couple rounds, you have to win the last two rounds. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, and that's where Jan is a beast because like, um, in the last two rounds, he knew he needed to get him like get takedown. So he he was. You know, gathering up his points with the takedowns, keeping him down, wasting time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, but nobody really fucked each other up. But after they did the scorecard, they said, uh, and I'm still getting to know like what the scores mean. But they said something like uh, they gave basically uh, Israel lost four rounds out of five, which is not true. If you watch the fight, he definitely won the first two rounds, yeah. and maybe like maybe it was like a, almost a tie with the third round. With the last two rounds, he definitely lost, so he deserved the loss. Like, so I'm not taking that away. But they were saying that they gave him like a 10-8. And uh, Dana White, the way he was describing, he goes, all I have to say is I don't know how they're judging this shit, but a 10-8 back in the day meant you got your ass fucking whooped. And that was definitely not the case. That yeah. makes no sense. 
Um, he's like, so we're going to get that looked at. He goes, because that's going to ruin, like, fighters' careers based on scores. Because, like, a lot of times, like, that, that's why I said I'm glad, it, like, at least the real winner won. Because how this would have usually went is this guy totally won, and by the scores, this guy won. You'd be like, that's fucking stupid. Yeah. And, you know, and that yeah. happens. But this one, he definitely deserved the loss. But it was, I, I, it was very close. It was super entertaining. But they went all five rounds, and it came down to the decision. That would have been an amazing victory for him, though. Yeah, it would have. Uh, 20 pounds over? Yeah. <clears throat> that would have been dope. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that. I mean, that would have been crazy. But yeah, that nigga's mad cocky, bro. Yeah, and he was like, and that sucks because you know, because uh, that would have been a great story. He like, he's all about the story. He was like, but he's like, if I was gonna get beat by anybody, it would be him. He's like, he's one of the greatest guys, and he and he's got a fucking story, you know. And he's put my my first loss in because he was undefeated. He was twenty and zero. Yeah, that Israel was. Now he just made his first loss to that dude. And uh, yeah, look, look at Shane so Sport. respectful. Shane Sportscaster. Why are we in sports, Shane? Huh? Yeah. Brooklyn, While we're in the sports. Brooklyn Nets, nigga. We already got James Harden, Kyrie, Kevin Durant. Mm-hmm. They just added Blake Griffin. <laughs> For real? Yeah, bro. Jeez. I don't know what's going on. Can bro. you just do that in NBA? You just add people as the fucking year goes on, like all the time, whenever you want. No, nah, I mean, there's, there's a deadline for that shit. Oh, okay. <clears throat> there's a deadline for trades and shit. But I don't know what they traded either. I don't know how they got that nigga, bro. I didn't look into it, but that's crazy. Your whole starting five is fucking all-stars now. Yeah, that's insane. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what your fifth person is. DeAndre Jordan, maybe? Is he an all star? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. But that's that's wild. Hmm. It's gonna be a great NBA season, bro. I don't. I still don't know if they're gonna bring down the king, though. We're gonna see. I'm not a LeBron James fan, but I'm not gonna take nothing from that nigga, bro. <laughs> He's miraculous, old ass out there jumping out the gym. He's huge, dude. nigga. Did you see the All Star game? No, I didn't watch it. Did you see what? So you didn't see what Steph and Dame and the niggas was doing? Mm-mm. Taking threes from half court, <laughs> multiple, intentional. Yeah. Like they were fucking free throws, dog. That's nuts. This was the greatest display. Steph is an animal, bro. Steph is a fucking robot, man. That's crazy. You got, bro. Go watch the highlights, bro. He looks so small compared to everybody else, doesn't he? He got a, he got mm-hmm. an alley oop. Chris Paul got an alley oop. Oh yeah. Little niggas out there Damn. jumping out the gym. Kyrie out there dunking. Like I'll go watch the whole game. Fuck it. <laughs> this shit was fantastic. Oh yeah. It was too much. Steph doing three points, <laughs> then turn around. You know what I'm saying? Before the shit go in. Bro, this shit was it was. You ain't, bro. I don't know what's going on. That's funny. These niggas are not human, bro. They grow these niggas at a farm. They give them a family, and then the the kids grow in like five years. Adrenochrome. They take like five years to get adults, and then they fucking splice them with some NBA DNA from Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and all them, Dr. J, all the greats, and then that's it. <laughs> these ain't people, bro. <laughs> people don't. Do on command half court three point shots. Not just one person doing it. It's another nigga doing it too. Yeah, and cool. then it might be another nigga doing it. That is wild. That's not how this goes, bro. That is wild. Y'all don't do this every game. They should. Is this a new? <laughs> is this a new button? Somebody hit the buttons. The program. They program these motherfuckers, bro. Watch it and you gonna see what the fuck I'm talking about. Is there a record for? I don't know, bro. But most three pointers in a row, or there probably is. These There's a record. Stand, for they were standing on the half court line, bro. That's dope. Shooting threes, bro. Like during the game, right? Yes, yeah, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> is the all? Is no, it couldn't be. I was gonna say, what? is the All Star Court shorter? Because like, why no, wouldn't you do? The no, game? I don't think it's a different court, bro. Yeah, maybe it's because there's no pressure. They can just be like, I'm just be goofy with it and do whatever. Yeah, I, I know want, that's you know? a big part of it. But get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. It don't matter if I make Steph a shot did it or like not. five times. That's crazy. Yeah, he's probably just comfortable because he knows he's not gonna get yelled at for. Doing Dame it, did it know? too. Dame was sitting on the bench, and like Steph did one. And he saw Dame like, "Yeah, nigga, <laughs> wait till it's my turn." They call me Logo Dame, and it just, just, oh, bro, I'm done. <laughs> I have no talent. These niggas make me feel talentless. Go, go play basketball. Shut your ass up, <laughs> man. I got some. We go more. play together. Break those angles, bro. I forgot I put this down here. <laughs> we talk about cancel culture and sensitivity, right? Mm-hmm. Did you hear about the Amazon box shit? No. Amazon box? The Amazon box scandal. Nope. So I'm going to show you this, okay? Is it racist? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> uh, it's not. Okay, so Amazon changed her logo. On your app, on your phone, the logo. Oh, is, I saw that. Yeah. So Yeah, it's a box now. Yeah, yeah, so you saw that. Yeah. With the blue tape. Yeah. Did you notice that a corner of the blue tape was folded over? Mm. Check that out. So before they folded over the blue tape, it was just blue tape and the smile. 
Yeah. It's they had to change it because guess what people said it resembled? Look at it. A deck. <laughs> I don't know. Hitler. What? So what? Oh my God. What? Do you, what, what? So what they do, had to change it again. Hitler? They had to change it again and fold the, the edge of the tape. The blue tape was supposed to be the mustache. The smile was the mouth. And they said it was a f- <laughs> yes, bro. Wow. So see how the tape they're is, just like dying. See like how the tape in see there. how the tape is folded over on the edge. They had to fold it over after they had already changed it. They had to change it again. Jesus, That's I crazy. have had enough. Jeez. Demi Lovato said gender reveal parties are transphobic too. So, I saw that. So you know, hey. Go do heroin. Shut the fuck up. Just don't don't say that. I gotta. I gotta <laughs> what I do? <laughs> I'm just too, kidding. It's too, it too much, man. It was a joke. <laughs> I like, bro. It was crazy. Like, like the first like 10, 10 or twenty episodes of this podcast. Me and Special K talked about that shit, and I said something very similar. <laughs> like, bro. Oh man, shut up. Every it, again, game. what is, is not a transgender person saying this? You know what I'm saying? This is a you're a woman. Why? Like, you just shut your mouth. If How it, you know? is a gender reveal party? Because you're, you're, born, you're labeling because you're labeling them you're without born them choosing. the way you born. Yes. Nobody said, "Hey, you can't make a decision later. If you want to do that later, that's fine." But nobody can get mad at people because they want to know what their kids is. Yeah, they want you to stop doing what that. Is that. They want you to not gender your kid until they're four. Call them them until they're four or some shit. And I'm like, I'm not. Oh, never do that. Why? Ever. ever. Why? I'll never do that. Why? Yeah, that's stupid. That's really stupid. ain't that like anti like God and everything though. It like. Is. Like how many offenses is that? They're talking about giving hormone blockers to 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 children, which I don't agree with. You know, if for some, like I have a gay brother, right? Bro, why are we trying to alter? Sorry. Oh my god! I was gonna say I have a gay brother, right? But no, it, just imagine if like when we were younger and he was acting feminine, then my parents are like, "Oh, he must want to be a girl. We should give him hormone blockers and yeah. transition him into a woman before he even made that decision as an adult." Yet, nah, bro, my brother does not want to be a woman. He is gay. Like you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and that's that's a, I think that's evil. That is, that, to my my opinion, is child abuse for sure. When they get older and they make their own decision, that's fine. But if you're not even old enough to consent to sex, you should not be old enough to choose your sex. Like I said, bro, you before know? it's like we didn't teach kids. It was like this it was a, it was a time frame where you talked about the birds and the bees. Like yeah, like are you gonna let your so you your kid can decide what sex they are like four? So you gonna let yeah. them have sex at four? Yeah, they have an episode on that on kindergarten where they're teaching sex at a kindergarten on uh, South Park where they're teaching sex at a kindergarten. That's what we're doing now. Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty hilarious. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's <clears throat> disgusting. What are we What are we doing here, bro? I have a I would have an issue with that though. Like if they're teaching my if I like my daughter would be in kindergarten in like a year. Um, if they were if they wanted to teach her sex that I would I would I would not be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't yeah, even nah. I don't know what you what do you do about that? That's not allowed. Bro. You just go sir, like go look for schools until this school doesn't do that. You know, I don't want my daughter knowing about sex until teenager type yeah, shit. Shouldn't be think that you shit know? shouldn't be on our mind. We're supposed to be being a kid. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I want to. Keep in in play. Oh boy, let's yeah. get into some more heavy shit. Um, bro, did you hear about the kid who got invited to a sleepover and then he got beat up and peed on shit by the people there and they were like recorded it? Jeez. Hopefully man. this is real shit. Well, his name was Samarion, so you know hashtag just for Samarion. Listen, if that happens to my child, everybody dies. Everybody, every single person, bro. Warning, <laughs> every single person. I'm just saying, bro. Hey, you better get rid of me first. If you're going to do that, you better make sure I'm not nowhere near nothing. Because everybody dies, bro. Um, You know Colin Farrell? I saw his yeah. clip. I don't know what movie this is or a show or whatever. But same thing happened. Uh, Colin Farrell's like, I guess a dad of a kid who got bullied. And he knocks on the door. And the kid answers with the dad. And he was like... um, you little fucking shit! You pick it on my kid. Said it right in front of the the dad, dad, and he was like, "Hey, hey!" And then he like punches that the bully's dad and beats the fuck out of him real quick. And he goes, uh, "He goes, you ever come around my kid again? I'll come back and I'll butt fuck your mom in front of your dad's dead no. corpse." <laughs> like, bro, I was like, "Oh my god!" Jesus. Bet that guy never bullied his kid again. Hey, <laughs> that's how you do it, <laughs> dude. That Nobody's was bro ruthless. I was like, "What movie is this?" I can't, like, bro. People are fucked up, bro. Yeah, like, I wouldn't. This is this is what's backwards with the fucking world. It's like. Shit like this is happening, and we worried about like it's disgusting, dude. And we're worried about Mr. Potato Head. I was about to say, yeah. Why was I about to say the exact same thing? Because <laughs> it's it's it's, it's the most ludicrous. simplest one out of all of yeah. them for real. It's like that like, poor kid is he okay? Well, you said he got beat yeah, up and pissed. Yeah, he's on. good, bro. Like got yeah. fucking like abused, abused, bro. But that's Man. bullshit. But I'm gonna recheck, make sure that's all facts. So we be fucking trolling. But I've seen a few a few of those shits. But if it and that's terrible, it's just mainly like, hey, watch your kids, and if they ever having a mind, it's going down. Motherfuckers are bodies. You know, I didn't hang out with people that did shit like that. So, you know, I that's that's some of the shit you just never know until it happened, though. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. never, you never I mean, know. that shit happens all the time since we were younger. Like, I mean, it's... It's always been something. You know, it's always been a thing. Yeah. I've just never been around anybody that has done that. Like, I would have I would have never let that happen. No, nah, no. Nah. You know? Fuck that shit. Um, nerd out real quick. Nerd news. I have been waiting, and all the Xbox game players have been waiting for Microsoft to seal the deal with Bethesda so we can get these games popping. And they did. $7.5 billion deal done. And we get to fucking get teasers of what's going to come on March 11th. I can't wait to see what games they going to be playing. I'm excited, nigga. You know what I mean? I'm not because I don't have an Xbox One yet. Well, just get it, bro. Just yeah. get it. And stop, you yeah. know what I mean? Just relax. Just save up your money. You don't, you don't need to get it anyway, bro. It's like, Let me go to my a, bank of gold. Yeah. No, I said save up, nigga. So I said <laughs> save just up. <laughs> but like, like, for real, you can wait like six more months, bro, because neither one of them going to really have game games yeah. until then. Like, ain't nothing dropping right now. Yeah, but it is a different experience. Like it's, I really want to get the Oculus Oculus Rift and play those. I, I really, I really want to get the Oculus. Rift. I just want to try. It looks fun. I really want to get the Oculus Rift and play those, Jay, because it's it's super it's super. Hey, when you do that voice, it's uh, not even doesn't even sound like God, mine. God damn it, Jay! I fucking hate when you do that voice. I fucking a. It doesn't even sound like. Fucking me. a is the whitest thing to say, bro. I, I got a question. Fucking a. No, Rip. I say fucking a when I want to be my funniest white dude. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> um, bro, I think the next phase. And this is random. The next phase of MCU is going to be duty. Yeah, I agree. I got, like, I'm looking for Dark Strange 2. Spider-Man might be dope. What else we got? Venom and all that. Like, it's going to be some shit, but, like, the all in all, bro, shit going to be so duty, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm, I think the superhero shit dies down. Yeah. It, 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 I mean, everything has to die at one point, you know? Like, but I think this, I think this dying song will be thought, and I, you know, I'm cool with it because I'm done. Yeah. We need what's the next? some creative. What's the next shit? You know how like like back in the day it was like cowboys, right? Like you know mm-hmm. western movies were were the big thing, and then well, and then now superheroes. So what do you think the next thing is? Maybe even space was like a big thing for a, a minute. I guess I'd be know. cool if we went back to space movies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I I can send zombies making a comeback. Oh man, zombies are huge. Like already. Already played out, I think. I, 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 that's why I said I could send zombies making a comeback. You know they got the last season of Walking Dead coming out. It's like season eleven. Like Jesus Christ, I'm so glad I stopped watching that show. Um, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I kind of want to finish it just because I'm. My one buddy's I already like, put so much time into watching so much of it. My one buddy's up to date. Really he said it sucks up. right now. He he's up to date. He goes, I'm so pissed that I because I guess the this one just ended and he's up to date and he was so pissed that he just wasted his this like this last episode was awful. The season was awful. I guess. My bro whatever. told you one day when I was editing, I tried to turn it on. Yeah. And every time I turned around, it was just fucking. What's her name, bro? Rick and his chick. What's her name? What's her name? Michonne. There you go. Yeah. Like I literally just had it right there and couldn't say it. Um, was just making out every time. That's all he doing was making out. That's what white people say for kissing and stuff. It was making out. <laughs> what do uh, what do black people say for kissing? <laughs> Shit, getting busy. I don't know, nigga. I don't know if it's a word getting for busy that. sounds like sex to me. I don't know. I don't know if it's a word for that. I don't know if we got a word for that. Making out, kissing, making out. I don't, I don't know. think it's no word for. It. I think it's just something that's done. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> white people always want to like, you want to make out? Like, <laughs> like what, bitch? Just get out. Shut up. You never said that to anybody before? Nah, bro. What the fuck I look like? You got to make contact, get, make eye contact, get the energy, and then you know. You know when to go. You know talk about saying? when you were like a kid or, or something. Or you give her the vibe you want to and let her leave. I'd hope as a grown man you don't. You want to make out? I'm, I'm talking about when you were a kid. <laughs> like when you were a kid or something and you're figuring no, it out. bro. I don't no. know. I don't know if I said that exact sentence, but I'm pretty sure I've said make out You want to make out? <laughs> you want to make out? <laughs> fucking stupid. Make out. What, were, but I, I know I've said they were making out before. I had, like you know, you never said that. Man, shut That's up, funny. bro. Other <laughs> other news, bro. Did you hear about Lady Gaga's dog walker getting shot and the dogs getting took? Did um, you hear about that shit? No. And they said it was a gang initiation. They had the dog, bro, and just shot the dog walker, killed him for no reason. Oh, they was said so the guy who shoot the dog walker was a gang. This like he was That's getting they initiated. Say. Oh yeah. wow, and, and he they chased got, the dog walker, and they got the dog back. I don't believe that. They had they have known those Lady Gaga's Wait, dogs. They got they got the dog back and. The lady who, like, I guess, you know what I mean, gave him the tip or turned the dogs in, ain't getting her half a million dollar reward because they own that bitch. <laughs> like, they, they think that she got something to do with it. Oh, wow. I just read that random on TMZ. Like, I can see that. I mean. Like, goddamn motherfuckers out here killing dogs. I always thought of that, too. Motherfuckers when, out here popping dog walkers. Well, I always thought of that, too. Whenever you see, like, Shit. reward for this dog and then someone returns the dog, 
Would you trust that person who returned your dog? Nah, hell You'd be nah. like, you stole it, and then now you return it because there's a reward. Like, yeah, know? come on in, man. I got your reward right here in the kitchen. Right. Walk about. On Seven Psychopaths, Christopher Walken was doing that. He was kidnapping dogs, waiting for the reward, and then he'd return it as his nice old man. Yeah. Did you ever see Seven Psychopaths? Yeah. Oh, it's been man. a minute. Yeah, but that's what he, they were doing. That shit fire. And, uh, I feel like that's a movie to watch and review. Bro, like. that movie is fucking fire. I love it. That but I think, that's how it, I think that's how it uh, kind of started because I think they stole Woody Harrelson's dog, and he's fucking crazy in that movie or something. He's definitely crazy. But I remember Colin Farrell was writing a movie called Seven Psychopaths, and they were talking. God, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you remember know? that shit. I, that's, that's definitely a movie to go back to. Um, I spoke on the MCU. I, did, I forgot that Kingsman was part of MCU, too. And it's a Kingsman 3 coming. Kingsman is fire. Kingsman, Kingsman is yeah. a part of MCU. It's part of Marvel Universe. The Kingsman movies. Yeah. <clears throat> the Secret Service Kingsman movies. Yes, man. There's no way. Yeah, bro. They're, they're rated R, and then it MCU said, is owned it said by that, bro. But MCU is owned by. Uh, I'm just well, saying it's said maybe it. a what? Maybe they didn't own that yet. That's what it said, bro. Kingsman three was coming out under the Marvel Universe list of Marvel shit. Hmm. Maybe because they were owned by Fox. Hmm, maybe because they were owned by Fox. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Well, that bro, sucks because that means that next one's going to be PG-13. I then. don't know. That's how I was listed, bro. That's how I was listed. Mm. We might have some exceptions. We definitely going to have some exceptions to PG-13 R rating shit. Well, they're already, they, they can't keep that shit up, though. I mean, I heard they're already maybe going back on Deadpool. Bro, fans change bro. everything, though. Yeah. Fans bitch enough, it'll change. It'll yeah. keep changing. I mean, that was the cool thing about the Kingsmen is that it was so over the top, you know? Like, the violence was, was fucking there. The, yeah. the humor was there. All that stuff. This is where the Twitterverse don't get his job done. It's like, y'all need to be changing movies and demanding original content. Y'all are here fucking starting trouble over my fucking Miss Potato Head toys and shit. Yeah. Kind of pissing me off, guys. Miss Piggy. Kind of Miss Piggy, bro. Jesus. Who don't fuck with Miss Piggy? Kind of evil motherfuckers of y'all. Uh, what else I got, man? I don't think I got shit else, bro. Coming to America, one division. Oh, the Justice League chapters, bro, got me more excited for Justice League movie. I didn't forget that earlier. Did you mm-hmm. see the chapter list? Mm-mm. It was like the title of the chapters. They got it broke down like six chapters. Bro, it was like I used to read a lot of books too. Like the title of the chapter is like that one thing that sets you up for what you're gonna get. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, what the fuck does that mean? Here we go. I got him right show. Right show. Part one is don't count on the Batman. Part two is the Age of Heroes. Part three is Beloved Mother, Beloved Son. Who was that about? Um, Probably uh, Martha, I bet. Hmm. Has to be. Part four, Change Machine. Part five, All the King's Horses. Part six, Something Darker. The fact that part six is something darker sounds amazing. It sounds like Dark Side. That's amazing. That's what I bet it is. Yeah, I saw a new clip of Dark Side. Um, it's a lot. It's like a big thing with Cyborg's character. It's supposed to be entering this shit, too. Oh, yeah. I just want to see all these bags. Yeah, I saw they had like a cyborg. Yeah, I think he's making a cyborg movie, or maybe maybe I'm seeing it's supposed to be a, probably not. Probably it's not a movie. I saw something about cyborg. For he he said Josh Whedon was being racist too on set. What? Yeah. Who the guy who plays cyborg said that? Yeah. Oh, he said he's being racist. This racist motherfucker. I never know what's racist anymore. Everything's racist. Two plus two equals four is racist. No, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's something bigger. I believe he knows what he just, what he's yeah, talking it's about. Some, it's pretty much something bigger than that, bro. Like that's racist. I mean, you just. Racist. I mean, when you just said the Amazon picture was racist, <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying like a nah, bro, it's like, crazy. That's I tried real hard to look at that box and see if I could see Hitler. I just didn't see Hitler, bro. I get it though, the patch or whatever. But Are they gonna on. cancel Charlie Chaplin? But come on, bro. <laughs> like you know, what I'm saying. But come well, he on. did get canceled from America, actually. But come on, bro. We're not canceled. It's blue tape it. on a box. We have been seeing the smi- We have been seeing that at our doorstep. You know, and I'm pretty sure Hitler never smiled. And it wasn't even black tape. I'm pretty sure they did it with the black tape. It was like, ooh, whoa, no, let's make that blue. <laughs> Maybe. Like, somebody had to, like, because you rarely get to see blue tape with that black with the design on it. You know what I mean? But come on, bro. Next week, three more things. By next week, I guarantee three more things get canceled. I want, <sighs> listen, it's Tuesday, okay? Y'all listen to this podcast. It's Tuesday. I'm going to call that at least two more things get canceled by the time y'all finish this podcast. By the time y'all hear this, two more things that got canceled. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Let me know, like, oh, you was right. They canceled peaches because they're too fuzzy and they look like booties. Like, you know what? I ain't got time. I ain't got time for this shit. They're taking rape seed out of peanut butter because it's called rape seed. That's what the fuck it's called in nature. Now, maybe some perverted, weird person did give that its name, but it's just nobody even knows that that's in there. <laughs> Watch the A men and A women thing come back. <laughs> 
I will die. But and hey, that still won't make sense because it's genderized. You'd have to say A men, A women, A X. You know, because then that would that would take away the Mr. Bro, potato and Mr. Just potato thing. Be a. <laughs> a. He was like, and grandma and mama too. A. A. <laughs> a. A. Everyone. Motherfucker's gonna be doing the Jeezy and the Joel Santana hey. and, uh, and and the OJ the Juice Man. Hey, Motherfucker's gonna funny. make fun of that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> right. that's funny. Like, anybody got time for this shit, bro? God. I don't, I don't know. If they do, I'm leaving. I don't know and where I'm going. And little Timmy <laughs> and Auntie Carol. A. <laughs> like, come on, man. What are we doing, bro? We no, cannot we- keep doing that. We can't keep remaking movies. We can't keep turning movies into series. We can't keep turning video games into movies and then into series. We just, bro, we are so fucking dull, dog. Man. I can't react to Tom McDonald without a thousand people calling me a leftist. Another thousand people thinking I'm a cornball Negro. Another other motherfuckers thinking all kind of shit, bro. Was that a is that an I quote? Black Lives Mo- Matter mo- moment. I'm wrong about stuff. I don't know my history. All this shit. Jeez. <laughs> That's why I ain't gonna go on for long, bro. I'm not gonna re- react to this nigga for that long. Yeah. Like it's just. But now nah, most like 95 percent of it is just dope, dope shit. Well, first of all, you could be a leftist. You could be a rightist. Rightist. I don't even think that's a word. Who gives a fuck though, bro? I'm be not, you though. Who cares? Like you know, I'm not do your thing. none of it. Yeah, I know you're not. I'm just saying, like when in a general, motherfucker come across me that I don't look at him like mm, he funny, then I'm then I get in it. But yeah. they all funny, and the motherfucker y'all be voting for don't even run the country. I don't, I took government class. I'm just saying, bro. Hey, listen, I don't. You know, just I just want everybody to be okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's why at the end of every video I say peace, love, strength. I just start saying it on the podcast too, but I'm not. You know, everything's not for y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying, Shane? Yeah, that's beautiful. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, y'all, y'all be pissing me off all the time, man. Now, you know what? The next podcast, I'm just going to talk to y'all because y'all are some assholes. Shane, you ready to cuss these motherfuckers out next episode? No, oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm always down to roast. My nigga Shane down for whatever. Yeah, we whatever. got this bitch, bro. You got anything to say to these motherfuckers? We didn't go over WandaVision. Oh, shit. WandaVision. I'm so confused <laughs> about WandaVision. <laughs> just just, just one <laughs> Fuck you. Just one division. Um, hey, listen, I don't understand. I just don't really understand where that's supposed to go now. I think that's it. I think it's done. I don't like. I don't really understand what happened. Well, like, uh, what's gonna happen with that other vision? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Well, he did say he was brought there to destroy Vision, and then he gave him all of his yeah, memories. Yeah, yeah. I'm Vision. He flew away. Yeah, so, so, I saw that, yeah. so did he fly away to destroy himself, or is he becoming himself now and is going to be Vision? And we have Vision again. He's just gone. Bro. I don't know. He's just gone. And uh, who is the, the black chick supposed to be? Her, well, I could tell by the way it like she was somebody like. Well, she's a uh, well, she's a superhero that like people were predict. I, mean, I know her name is Rambo, but I can't remember her superhero name. And apparently, like, I don't. I, I I'm not familiar with that character. So she might just be a new superhero in the MCU now, you know, maybe. Mm. I think she'll be important to the to the shit. Um But they made that like that was like watching reviews, they made it like that was a big thing. Like, I think it might be. Maybe it's just I don't know. Usually when they do close ups of anything, like even like in movies like like thrillers and stuff, when you go back and watch a movie after you know the stuff, you'll like you'll notice those things, but like you know, when the camera zooms in on something particular, it's because they want you to remember that. Yeah, yeah, that's reason. what I'm saying. So I think they zoomed in on her face because they want you to re- remember her because she's going to be something. But see, you know? like, I'm cool with that, but I always feel like they give you something like you're supposed to know who that is. That's why those yeah. things oh, are fucking with me. Like, yeah, I don't it's know. It's like, oh, it's a big reveal. That's a booty queen oh, of, no. of, of the land of Smitty. Real Smitty. comic book nerds know that. I mean, I, my dad might. Like, that's what I'm know. saying, bro. Yeah, I don't know. They need to, like, I feel like they need to like be a little more open for the people who don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I you know agree. What I'm saying because like, I agree. I start seeing these like theories, and I'm like, how did they get to that? Like, yeah. why do they have this theory that this relates to Thanos and this in this universe? Like, why? How? Why? What did I miss? Yeah. Like, what the fuck did I miss? I want to know. I want to see this stuff too. Yeah. Like, I want to be able to be like, oh damn it, that's Captain and Smackman, and he got the dolphin fin power. Like, I don't fucking know shit, mm-hmm. and I just kind of feel lost, and I don't think it's ending. Yeah. I think well, I think you'll you'll see maybe other stuff in the future. I don't think they'll. Well, it was so popular they might make a season two. Yeah, because it can't be Wandavision she now already, unless he comes back. Right. I mean, she already took away the town, right? Yeah. And she left Agatha in there, uh, brainwashed. That's kind of was pretty savage. Well, see, and I'm thinking as the neighbor. Remember when Vision was talking to Vision? Yeah. And they was talking about the ship. That was cool. And he was like, you know, I'm not the original ship. 
You know what I mean? Like I have this piece of original shit, but the rest of it is rebuilt. You know what I mean? Like just saying like he wasn't he wasn't the actual vision. Right. And the other dude was pretty much just the physical. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the computer part of vision. But now he got fake vision, actual memories of the real vision. Right. So I'm Which like, is kinda cool with my, one, the my one yeah, my one theory is like he comes back, Wanda's alive. And that's how they bring back the show. That's how it remains WandaVision. Because he's going to go off, do some soul searching, yeah. take what he remember. He might fucking find a Mind Stone. Do you think they'll or, keep him that or color? Or find some way to create another Mind Stone. Or find some way to go back in time and get a Mind Stone. Well, maybe and, he doesn't need it. Maybe, I mean, he seemed like he was yeah, powerful yeah. enough. Maybe yeah. he doesn't need the Mind Stone now, which is cool. Yeah. Um. You know what I don't know? I never got about that, too, is, well, maybe that's why. Because they, they try to clean that up. You know, if they brought the Mind Stone back in the past, in the in game movie, why couldn't they just go and get it again to make vision again? You know? But know. but it doesn't what they what they were explaining, it's a different type of time travel movie. It's not like Terminator. What if like what affects your what you do in the past doesn't actually affect your present I don't know, something stupid like that. Yeah. Um but so do you think they'll keep vision looking the way he looks? I don't, I don't know, know if I bro. like that look. You know what I mean? I like I think I like the original Yeah, he like an unfinished uh yeah. Funko Pop or something. Yeah. Yeah, bro, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I like as I said, bro, like I, I was like, thinking they were going to That was together, an amazing episode. Which though. almost happened. The episode was fire. Yeah, I love the episode. You know I mean, it was she, great too. the way she did Ag- Agatha's ass was dope. Yeah. Like, she fucked her over. Yeah, that was an awesome fight, Had too. the runes around her. I'm like, oh, shit, she mm-hmm. got this, bitch. Like, that was dope. Yeah. Like, I ain't going to lie. That's probably the dopest, one of the dopest scenes I've seen in something like that in a while. Yeah. That was, it was movie level. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like something you would see at the end of, like, the WandaVision movie. Yeah. Like, but I don't know, bro. Like, it kind of let me on a cliffhanger. Kind of let me confuse. I feel like. If I knew more about the Marvel Universe, I would have took away something totally different. Yeah. That's that's what I was left feeling. Yeah. I was left feeling like I was left out of something. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could see that. Maybe, if, like you just said, going back and watching it, maybe yeah. it'll help you more. I think it helped me more because I, I, I wish I knew what I, like, I, like I, the only one I, th- I can think of is Rambo, but I could be missing something I just don't even realize, yeah. you know? I love that how she came in her real awesome uni- um, suit. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Bro, you know? the, the scene with with the kids and her yeah. was fucking fire. Yeah. And that she was made dope. the bullets drop and then, you know what I mean? Like, the little kids was dope. Yeah. That shit was fire. They were like some little, some little Mexicans and uh, uh, a little like an like Israeli dude or something. <laughs> like, they was like weird. You know what I mean? They, looked, they didn't like they were supposed to be brothers. Yeah. Not that guy didn't do anything. But they was cool as shit. And I was kind of sorry they disappeared. Yeah. Like, that scene was kind of sad when they had to let them go and shit. That was dope. Like, but mm-hmm. it was kind of sad. I'm like, damn, those niggas was getting busy, though. Yeah, you know what I mean. They should have had a couple more fight scenes for it. Yeah, I love they brought Kitty back in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Hey, Kitty is the funniest, one of the funniest moms on TV yeah. ever, bro. One of the best TV moms. Her for sure. laugh, bro. Her, her, her. Don't, don't you ever, don't you ever butcher that laugh. Like that. Stop. It was. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. I, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> Terrible, bro. Oh, yeah, shit. But yeah, bro. Wandavision. It's over for now. We don't know. I think Falcon and Winter Soldier's next. Yes. I think Loki should be coming up soon too. I still didn't even watch the trailer of Falcon Winter Soldier. I'm gonna watch Loki for sure. Fuck Falcon and Winter Soldier, bro. I'm gonna have to watch it because it's gonna tie into something else. Yeah, I know. They're gonna make it might this be shit good. Tie the the trailer looks like it might be. I good. do not like that. I just dude, don't like that bro. dude either. I don't. I, don't I like, like the him. Winter Soldier guy though. This I think nigga he's cool. had something bad to say about black people with dreadlocks, bro. And I don't fuck with him since then, bro. Oh, I don't blame you. They're gonna be self racist. <laughs> like, come on, bro. I beat your ass. There's get, so many black people with dreadlocks. I'll slice your body in half. And almost Don't every Jamaican have dreadlocks, so you're like disparaging an entire country. Not, not all, <laughs> not all of them, but a lot of them. Yeah, not, most majority. It's mostly Rastafarians though. But yeah, like, right. Yeah, a lot of them. You're right, the Rastafarians. A lot of, a lot of like just regular people too, but they got normal haircut, motherfuckers down there. Um, motherfuckers wearing mohawks and everything. They do, they do all kind of shit. They get, they go crazy. Motherfuckers wearing feathers in their head and shit. <laughs> they go crazy. <laughs> it's their life, bro. It's a like Caribbean shit, bro. Like you get that sea air, and you just living life. Uh, I've never been there. Like, fuck it, nigga. I'm putting three yellow feathers, four green feathers, and eight purple feathers in my hair, nigga. Welcome, Welcome to Jam Rock, bitch. <laughs> Welcome I'm to Jam Rock. I'm having a great time. My buddy went there and he said people just sell like just joints off the street. Here you go. You know, you just, that's how you buy it. That'd be a little be, sketchy. They'd be selling that Bamber though. <laughs> they'd be selling that Bam Bam, that Boo Boo weed. <laughs> they'd be selling that really? Dick. I just want some of that jerk chicken. Ooh. I just want the jerk chicken, bro. Like. I want to go to countries just for their food. That's what bro, I want to do. Facts. I want to do that. So That's bad. the biggest part for of it, bro. Real. We ain't gonna talk about this. Is another episode, bro. <laughs> we are gonna talk about international culinary stuff next episode. Oh, fire! And the high people that like it. We out this bitch. Shay. You got anything else to say that I missed something? Nope. FBS podcast. Able J Sugar Shane. Stop being a bunch of pussies. It's been another week. <laughs> if we offended you, so 
Um, and we're gonna be right next week. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know, man. Hopefully, some interesting shit happens. Don't forget to let us know what gets canceled. By the time you listen to this, let us know what got canceled. Last thing of today was Pepe Le Pew was the last thing. And Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy. I think Miss Piggy. And Speedy Gonzalez. Miss Piggy is, and Speedy Gonzalez is new to me. Yeah. I just saw those today, too. So, them three. We know about them three. After that, put that shit in the comments. Thank y'all for the love. Shout out to Hangover Gang. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got some shit dropping for y'all tonight. Well, today's Tuesday. Just scratch that last comment. We're going to get the fuck out of here. Everybody stop being assholes. Everybody love everybody. And, you know, I don't know what else to say, man. The world done gone crazy. Yeah. Shane, watch Demolition, man. Okay. So we can, uh, <laughs> you gonna, your, bro, your mind gonna be blown, bro. I love shit like that. It's not, it's not gonna even, it's, it's gonna be so obvious that we can get there like that. Mm-hmm. When you see it, bro, it's like, oh, shit, we got five years away from this. No. Crazy. I just based on what you told me real quick, I can already see it. Real shit. We out though, y'all. Be good. Be safe. Don't hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? Be married. Bye, everybody. Bro, the light, smoke it. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> Got you out of my head, yeah They fake as hell But I'm grinding, going hard, yeah Too loud